Big man in the middle, Neil Quinn will jump for Richmond in red for Florida. It's Mike uh, Handlock 10. And the Gators take the opening tip. Riley Kugel out front with the basketball. Got the headband on. What a high-low action with Florida. Trying to bang the ball inside. Ball screen coming off, looking to shoot. Late the big-time scorer, the transfer from Iona. Quick trigger there from the top of the key was off the mark. So Richmond perhaps a chance to strike first in this ball game. Todd Golden told us today Richmond throws a lot of stuff at you. They run good sets. They know what they want to do, and this guy can make shots. Mikel Tide knocks down the triple. Take a look at tonight's starting lineups brought to you by Auto Nation. First for the Florida Gators, Clayton Kugel, and Log 10, Samuel and Will Richard. Starting five for Todd Golden's Gators. A lot, a lot of back cuts from Richmond, a lot of drill handoffs. Florida was very aware of the back cuts, don't want to give them up. But when you start concentrating on that, you give up good looks from the three. Isaiah Bigelow short with the three there. This three a little too strong for Tyrese Samuel. Starting five today for Richmond. Kelt Time, who just turned it over. He made the three. Got King, Jai Bailey, Mikel Tyne, Isaiah Bigelow, and Neil Quinn. And now turnover on the other end of the floor. You're going to get them to turn it over, which they don't do very often. You got to make the shot, get the ball to the rim. Samuel credited with the steal. Analog 10 working on Quinn. This is a Florida team that has got some size. What a nifty move down low by Quinn. He did everything but finish. And this is what he does. I mean... It's going to be interesting to see if Golden ever comes with a double team. Are they going to play him size on size? Because Quinn can go left shoulder, right shoulder. You just saw him spin back. Very creative in the post. Todd Golden in his second season at Florida. One game above 500, 21 and 20. After a three-year stint at San Francisco as the head coach. First points for the game for the Gators belong to Riley, uh, Riley Kugel. Freshman All-SEC a year ago. Kicks it out, Tide shoots an air ball. And Florida saves it inbounds. I don't think we've seen like the full pedal to the metal offense yet for Florida. But they really want to get up and down the floor. The guards are extremely athletic and can get downhill with the best of them. That foul is on time. And they awarded a couple of free throws on this as well. Chris Mooney done a really, really good job at Richmond. He's in his 19th year as the head coach. 330 wins, 22nd overall. Spent a little time as a head coach of the Air Force Academy before taking the Richmond job. He's a pretty good player, too. Oh, played for Pete Carrell. I mean, League titles at Princeton. A big time shooter. I mean, he was a perfect player to play in this Princeton system. 1,071 career start, uh, points, and he started every game. 107 starts. Quinn working into the lane. Now King on the drive. What a quick first step for Jordan King. And with his ability to shoot and to shoot deep, there it is. it's hard to guard him. And there's that transition. They're coming. If you shoot, you got to get the guy shooting. You better get four by sometimes five on a long jump shot. Tyrese Samuel running the floor well. And it's expected in this office offense. Log 10 pulls down the rebound. It's a pretty good 
find by Richmond to get it to the open guy. Just couldn't capitalize. He had him trapped in the corner there, and he was able to get strong and get down and get through it. Found a great look for the Spiders. Kugel short on the deep three. King has his pocket pick this time by Riley Kugel. Kugel hangs, missed it, but there for the follow is Will Richard. Good hands by Kugel, great hustle by Richard. Staying in the play. We're gonna shoot that. <laughs> D3 by King off the mark. And long tip pulls it down. That's one of them Boston Celtic, the old garden rim rolls right there, baby. Larry got a few of those, didn't Ooh. he? Clayton was unanimous first team all Mac, M A A C, a year ago. He was also player of the year in that league. Open three from the right side, and Isaiah Bigelow says, Don't mind if I do. I think a lot of that again, Richard, is you are so aware of the back cuts and the slicing and things that Richmond does that you back off a little bit and they get space they knock it down. Clayton trying to work off the screen goes to the side Tyrese Samuel buries it from the corner. He can start doing that. Look out. He can make a lot of money playing this game. Yeah. Yeah. off the screen for Quinn. Bigelow, turn around, tough shot on the baseline for Bigelow. Ooh. Northern Iowa the other night, he had 17 in the first half, was making everything, didn't score in the second half. Looks like he's off to another good start. Clayton kicks it out, extra pass. Google has to dig it out. And long 10. Well, that was a tough entry pass. He was able to gather it. It goes underneath. Draws the foul. He's got a free throw when we come back. Both teams shooting it well. Florida leads it 16 10. I'll tell you what, Richard, they would love this game to be in the 50s today. Micah Hand logged in off the mark with the free throw. Six of 11 from the field to start the game. 55%. Bigelow on the drive with the left hand. Left it a little short single there to rip down the board and the Gators are running. Kugel crosses over, down through the lane and a blocking foul on Richmond. Just really good job by Samuel there. Of really walling him off, but then this guy right here coming downhill at you, it's not where you want to be if you're a defender because he can pull up and shoot. He can get into you with his body and his strength. And as you saw with the little dump off, he's a willing passer. And Longton goes to the bench and Alex Condon comes in. We run 7-1 off the floor and replace it with 6-11. Young guys, this Florida team has got some size, it's got some height, and they can all move. Look, and they're aggressive. I mean, they are locked in. They play with a lot of passion and aggressiveness. They challenge shots, and they run the floor. Tyrese Samuel, he pushes it. Are you kidding me? Tyrese Samuel Euro? rips the board on one end, <laughs> goes coast to coast for a finger roll. Little Euro goes coast to coast with a Euro. Like it, big fella. Eight-point lead for the Gators, closing in on 12 minutes to play in this first half. And a block by Walter Clayton. A return to Cinder. Aiden Noyes was trying to go up with it. It's not small, it's 6'7". Quinn working inside, but a foul called on Condon. And I think that's where they got to go. Quinn is crafty down there. He's going to be able to get him a good look every time. 
But again, the big fella with the Euro and the little George Gervin there, the little finger roll. I like it. When 75% free throw shooter this year, 15 to 20, misses the first. Bill Quinn, one of those guys with international experience. Free fall for the 2025 people year of basket, played with the Irish national team. He's a transfer in from Lafayette. And it's a little bit different for Chris Mooney. He had seven transfers in 17 <laughs> years. He's had six in the last two seasons. And he recognizes that times are changing and you get so many people in and out through the transfer portal. But they have certainly been a program that takes guys and grows and develops them over the course of a career. I think that's why it's so impressive of what King has done coming in and playing the way he's played in this system. This system is something that you got to learn and, and basically it's a, an acquired taste. Tittle the shot clock, Bailey working toward the lane. And he has it swatted away by Condon. Put out some players. Same development program as oh, Andrew Bogut, Patty Mills. Matthew Delavadova. Three from the corner out of the timeout. Jason Roach knocks down a big shot to make this a four point game for Richmond. That'll drive a coach crazy. Leave a guy open in the corner. One of the best three point shooters. One pass, bottom. Called for a foul. I think one of your former teammates is part of that Australian Development Academy as well, right? Yeah, Luke, Luke, yeah, he's from Perth. Yeah, played with him on the 98 Bulls. Great guy, very good player. Good rebound by Mike Walls. Walls, 6'11", 250 pounds, sophomore out of Bourbon, Pennsylvania. Walls likes to reside up here around the high post. He's a really not going to go down there and post and play out of the block as much as Quinn. He likes to do that right there and shoot face-up jumpers. Thomas Howe comes into the game for Florida as Tyrese Samuel will get a break. Also Julian Rishway. Double in the corner, Condon and Zion pulling and that led to the turnover. At two in a row, again, Richmond only rebounds at a 20% clip offensively, but that's primarily because they're trying to get back and prevent you from attacking them walling off in transition. Roach, quick trigger again. That's two from that side of the floor. And we got a one-point game. Again, you're worried about the back cuts, and you give the shooters a little room. Hawk lets it fly, and he's got a triple. Thomas Howe, the freshman from New Oxford, Pennsylvania, said that Florida was his dream school. Grew up, grew up in uh, Pennsylvania, mm. wanted to be a Florida Gator. Bigelow from the side. Goes way up for that rebound. Condon, straight on three.
knocked to the floor by Rishway. And he's already made a couple of threes off the bench, and now Roach will have three free throws coming up. Well, he's a guy that you gotta gotta get to if he gets his feet set with a little space. He gets comfortable, and now he's shooting the ball with some confidence. There's no hesitation there. You gotta close out. Transfer from the Citadel. Told us Jason Rose, sharpshooter, but it kind of gotten off to a slow start this season. He was six of twenty-five. I beg your pardon, eleven of thirty-one for three coming into this game, and he's got it's more like forty-ish percent shooting three for his career. He has not gotten off to a slow start at this ball game. shooters, really good defenders. I mean, just very impressed with Florida, how they've gone from really just Castleton to having this plethora of height. And then when you watch Princeton, Quinn's ability to pass from the high post and his ability to maneuver with his back to the basket, very impressive. them both and after the free throws he will go back to the bench as one of those big guys comes back in and Micah Hand logged him. He was at Marshall last year and was the Sunbelt freshman of the year. You can see why. I mean, just yeah, I mean. long, active. Quinn and Tyler Harris not on the same page there. That's the fourth turnover by Richmond. And, and, and so Auto Nation, uh, South Florida is is home of, of this company. You talked about community involvement, community engagement. What, what does that look like? Uh, for us, it's big to give back into the communities we serve. So if you see today, there's a bunch of kids with pink T-shirts. It's part of the Big Buddy program. So we made sure that a lot of high schools and youth are able to come and enjoy the game. So again, back to community, back to giving back. Turnover there by Florida, four-point game. Rich been walking it up the other way. We had the, the ball boys who were working on the court in the pink shirts earlier today. All part today. of the Big Buddy program, yep, that's right. Very, very good. Richmond looking for a bucket this end of the floor, seven and a half to play in the first half. Off the mark and another rebound for Howe. So the partnership overall between Auto Nation and the Art Bulls, it's the basketball event, it's the community relations. But when you say Orange Bowl, big picture, tell me a little bit more about that. Sure. So Orange Bowl is more than just football in December. They do a lot of events throughout the year. They've raised over $40 million for South Florida communities. At AutoNation, we've raised over $37 million for Drive Pink Initiative, which is cancer research. So again, impact, community, and just making sure we're aligned in the same cause. You see the logo on the floor, the license there plate is. there, the Drive, Drive Pink, Pink. AutoNation look. Quinn with... Nice right-handed touch shot. All right, before I let you go, you got to say hi to Mom back in New York. Hi, Mom. Hi, Norma. 
There you go. Hi, Norma. <laughs> Tay was great. Thanks for loaning us your daughter. And uh, thanks for all that AutoNation so has done. Great to be with Thank you. you. Tay Vasquez Gonzalez, who is with AutoNation. This is the AutoNation Orange Bowl Basketball Classic. We're glad to have you along on this Saturday. And Longton with the three on one end for Florida. Answer there on the other end. Five point game. Kugel, tough move inside. Kept alive, and Quinn finally pulls down the rebound. Tine on the cutter, and it's touched last by Richmond. Is Richmond Joe close enough? to having this game at the pace that they want? I do. I mean, there's going to be spurts by Florida because that's what Florida does, and they're very good. But for the most part, they've done a nice job of getting back, getting in the gaps, really trying to make Florida shoot from the perimeter, shoot quickly from the perimeter, and then try it as best you can not to let them get it back. There's pulling straight on three, the dagger. Just the penetration, the pass. You're trying to recover to the man on the wing. Kugel gives it to the guy up top for a wide open. Nice, nice extra pass. You talk about extra pass. It's almost like they're dribbling into trouble underneath. Yeah, you get in there, you draw attention. You got a good look, but you got a better look. That's how you win right there. And Zion pulling with a really good look. The UC Riverside transfer. Certainly, Todd Golden knew of him when he was coaching on the West Coast at San Francisco. Golden's best friend is the head coach at UC Riverside. And they were happy to get Poland in the mix. Larry Samuel dumps it off down low. That's a shove on Quinn, and that's his second foul. That's been a little bit of an Achilles heel with Princeton, with Quinn, is when, when people attack him, he's, he gets his hands on him. He's got to really get better defensively at playing with his feet so that he doesn't get these ticky-tack fouls. Had Laden had nowhere to go, and he fouled him. Riley Kugel, catch and shoot. And if you blink, you will miss a shot attempt from the Gators. They're locked and loaded, baby. But they don't have the you have to pass it three times <laughs> before you take a shot rule. Like Quinn was trying to go up and under. That was defended pretty well there by hand long 10. Now Kugel crosses over and attacks, but he's called for an offensive foul. No? Oh, count the basket. I thought the signal I saw from Doug Schaus was for the charge, but no, it was count the basket. You're going to see the strength there, the ball handling ability, and he gets that left shoulder. All great scores, man. When they're going to the hole, they get that shoulder on you. They get that bump. They get that little bit of separation. Advantage always goes to the offensive player and then has the strength to put it in. Florida up 11. Biggest lead of the game for the Gators. 14 of their points have come in the paint. They've hit five threes in the game as well. Hey, Joe, I, was just, I was thinking big picture SEC. A lot, lot of talk in the offseason leading in through the first month of the year uh, about Kentucky. People always talk about Kentucky, about Auburn, what Bruce Pearl's built, about what Arkansas has got. They've got the great win over Duke at home in that incredible environment. A lot of talk about Tennessee. I don't feel like there's a ton of talk right now about the Florida Gators, and I'm wondering if that's a mistake. I think it's a big mistake. I mean, you have two teams that weren't talked about at all that are very impressive in the Ole Miss Rebels and this Florida Gators team. And this is one of the few times, I think, I, correct me if I'm wrong, only the second time that he's had the full allotment of players to play with. The last time was when they played Florida State, and they were up 30 at half. That's right. Probably the best half of basketball that Florida's played this year. They were complete that day. 
They've dealt with some injuries, some nagging, some a little bit longer. Tyne lets it fly. Mikhail Tyne this time hits the triple. And they needed that one. Yeah, for them to stay in this game, they're going to have to shoot a, a good percentage from the three because Florida's not going to let them get a lot of back cuts and easy layups. Mike Wall's kind of bullied his way to a defensive rebound in there. Timeout on the floor, 316 left. Look good, my man. <laughs> I'm trying, man. I'm trying. I would die. What would you tell me earlier? It's a whole lot more fun oh, putting it, was, it on than it is taking it off. Blast putting it on. <laughs> Jordan King for the right side knocks it down. And that's what Fish was talking about a second ago. Florida has handled that really well. And now a turnover by Florida. And all of a sudden, Richmond with a chance to just get right back into it. Well, they keep doing what they do. I mean, Richmond is going to run their stuff. They, they're not going to panic. I mean, talk about a veteran on the sideline, 19 years doing this. He's going to keep doing what they do. They're going to stay calm. They've got a little bit of an older team. They're going to keep plugging. And they're going to, if this guy gets going right here, they'll have a shot. Last game for Richmond. And they lost to Northern Iowa 78-73. Jordan King was not the reason. He had 20 points, and all of them came in the second half. Pull up from Pullen at the free throw line, and it rolls off. Good luck, though. How do you define a good shot, a good look? when you're playing as fast as Florida's playing. Well, you want it to be open and clear. You don't want it to be like that right there. A good shooter in a rhythm, stepping into a good shot. Now that one, I could live with that. We will knock to the floor, but no whistle. But an offensive rebound and a Tyree Samuel, I'm bigger than you and I'm stronger than you, dunk. And that classifies as a good shot. <laughs> Strong young man right there. Roach had a couple of threes earlier off the bench. We got the starting five in the game right now for Richmond. With 90 seconds until the half, Quinn works down the right side. He goes strong, but not strong enough. Pretty good job there by Alex Condon of just holding his position. Pulling all the way to the rack. No, Condon, rebound, tip in. Good for Riley Poogle. Love the tenacity on the offensive glass. Something Florida's noted for, but did it in transition. Great hustle. I mean, this thing was hanging to the balance just a second ago. Six-point game. Florida had turned it over. And you just like the push. You like the aggressiveness, but then the hustle. And the hustle. Florida is averaging 16 and a half offensive rebounds per game. That's fourth best in the country. Their rebound margin this season is nine and a half. That's top 25 as well. And you saw the note there at the bottom. Four games with 20 uh, in which they have out rebounded their opponents by 20 or more. I don't know that I've heard stats like that this early in the season. Bigelow gets to the baseline. 17-footer won't go. Google grabs it. Also, Florida plus 12 in the paint in this game, 18 to 6. When you see Princeton keeping the ball, having to play on one side of the floor, and it's not going around the horn to the high post, back cuts. They're not doing what they want to do. Do the quick shots lead to more offensive rebounds because defensive guys aren't in necessarily position yet. Especially when you have athletes. And Florida's got athletes. They can track them down. Two second difference. Shot clock, game clock. On the drive into the corner. Roach lets it fly. Roach, this time he's off the mark. Three and a half seconds left from half court. Richard Short off the front iron at the buzzer. And Florida will take a 10 point lead into the locker room. King, Quinn, 
Shot clock down to five. Quinn with the left hand, got the soft roll. And that's Princeton, man. Side to side, back cuts, side to side, back cuts into Quinn. A little quick counter with the left hand. Nice offense to start the second half. Even an offensive board. Kugel. Little strong. I feel like I should qualify that statement a second. I said Florida's got some losses. It happened. They played a difficult schedule folks, so far this year. Foul there on the drive for Jai Bailey. He's got free throws coming up. The three losses for Florida this year are Virginia and Charlotte by three. They lost to um, Baylor in Brooklyn by four, and then they lost to Wake Forest by 11. And Wake Forest may be the game of those three that they would both say they should have won. Yeah, watch the Wake Forest game. They were right there. I mean, they made some mistakes and had some breakdowns in the last four to five minutes. They could have very easily won that game. second half. Good cut, good patience by Kugel, but it's not there. He just has it ripped away by Jai Bailey. Nice recover by the Spiders to get back and not quit on the play. Isaiah Bigelow. Good looking shot from the wing. He knocks down the triple. And look out, four point game. That's what they have to do. They're going to have a chance in this game. They got to shoot and shoot a high percentage of three. last by Richmond. So it looked like Kugel did the right thing. It wasn't oh, there, and then all of a sudden, Richmond room. You know, had four guys around you, and you had to put it down, and then, again, you were worried about the back cut. You got two bigs looking at him. Do you have him? Do I have him? Not any communication. Gets a wide open three from Bigelow. Will Richard quick off the inbound on the baseline, hit on the elbow, made the shot, chance for a three-point play. Not entirely sure what you do with the scouting report when you're preparing for Florida. They played nine guys, eight have scored. And nobody's in double digits. Five, nine, five, nine, five, five, three, two. Quinn just muscles his way up and over the rim. And I think they have to do that as well because, again, he's going to get a good look. If you let him get three to four dribbles, he's going to get a good look. Longton got a hand on that a couple of times. Tipped around, still loose. And Richmond comes away with it. Bailey doing a really nice job to keep that alive. It's a scrappy bunch, Richmond. We're counting dribbles. <laughs> Bailey three, short. Six dribbles in. I mean, that's hard to guard. I don't care how good you are. Walter Clayton gives it off to Samuel, gets it right back. Now he finds Richard, soft spot, middle of the lane. Mid range jumper. Who says it's dead? And Richard's doing a good job. His man got caught ball watching. Clayton, good vision, seeing Richard flash to the wide open little 12 footer. From behind the back from time. King. I bet he's gotten that call a lot of times. He tried to kind of sell some contact out on the perimeter that he initiated and get the whistle. Richard lost the handle. He got it off, though. Count the basket and a foul for Tyrese Samuel. Oh, Richard, you got away with one there, baby. You lost your balance, but good heads up and smart play to know where Samuel was and gets it to him. But you can see he's going down the hill being physical. 
Looked like somebody pulled the chair out from under him right here. And again, way to stay with the play. Good vision. Nice finish by Sam. Feels like this leads on a yo-yo right now. Richmond cut it to four. Florida pushes it back out to nine. They cut it to six. Three throws short, back to nine. Samuel gets a long offensive rebound, and we'll see what happens. He just takes it in with the left hand, missed the spinner. He's much better than I saw in Tampa. Playing a little finesse, being able to put the ball on the floor, shoot it. When I watched him on tape, I just thought about it. But big physical player, showing a lot of finesse. It's a really tough to defend move by Bigelow, going left and just kind of a pull-up fadeaway jumper from the elbow. I mean, Richard, he's made four or five of those things. I mean, and again, they got to have that to stick around. King, pull-up three, transition too strong. Zion pulling, or Zion pulling with the rebound. This pulling kid. I mean, he is very, very strong, very aggressive, but under control. Afternoon matchup of the doubleheader. And a good one with Florida and Richmond. <laughs> Almost immediate foul there on Aiden Noise. That was a ducky by Condon. I mean, he took Noise. Go. High low action they're looking for. Threw that hip on him. Tried to do it again. Got it back. Oh. Condon was determined. Just too big. That's just Florida saying, we're too big. What are you going to do? Alex Condon, the 6'11, 230 pound freshman from Perth, Australia. On the drive, Jordan King. Well, you're so worried about him pulling up from that three, and you lean forward a little bit, and psh, he's gone. Two trips in a row with Quinn on the bench. Florida has said, we think we've got a mismatch. Yeah, I think here it comes. I mean, and can, can, here comes Quinn back in the game. Can Princeton sustain or, or, or prevent what's coming? Because what's coming is, I think the message has been given to Florida. We're going to the rim with our guards. We're going to the rim with our bigs. And do what you can see if you can stop it. Because this is where we're coming. Richmond, you meant, right? Not Princeton. Yes, R R Richmond running the Princeton Richmond offense. Richmond running the Princeton offense. I knew what you were thinking. You're the only one. Wednesday, right here <laughs> on the SEC Network and on ESPN as well, we'll have the exclusive reveal of next year's SEC football schedule. That's at 7 Eastern, 6 Central, complete breakdown of each school and the top matchups for 2024. It's coming up Wednesday night. Highly anticipated. That's always a fun day. A few leaks here and there. Yeah. But there's a lot to be found out. Okay. A little bump goes down. Little bump went down hard. Man, he's quick. All right, if I had told you when we started today that at the 1440 mark of the second half, these two teams would have combined for two fast break points, would you believe me? Nope. I mean, if you'd have told me Florida only had 15 in that nine play, I mean, that's a credit. The Spiders getting by yeah. them. They don't crash a lot to the offensive glass, so their emphasis in this game is to get back. Well, you remember it was early. It was on the run ahead, kind of a yeah. lob. Yeah. By the way, King, up to 10 points now. And Samuel sitting on a double-double. 13 points and 10 rebounds in the game. You see Chris Mooney, who's done such a good job. Have Richmond. Samuel at the free throw line. Florida leading by seven. Two more games away from home for the Gators after this one. They'll play East Carolina in Lakeland on Thursday. 
and then the following Tuesday they'll go to Charlotte to take on Michigan. This early season schedule for Florida, not for the fate of heart. I like it though. I think it really helps you get a feel for your team. So that when you hit the when you hit the conference, you're you're in full stride. Well, you better be. So they get a little bit of a break after the Michigan game, but we're able to get quit a PA. Here, here's how the SEC begins for Kentucky. Florida. Kentucky, I'm, I'm sorry, for Florida. You knew what I meant. <laughs> Home against Kentucky, at Ole Miss, who's undefeated. Home against Arkansas, at Tennessee. And then at Missouri. Welcome to the SEC. Mm. I mean, the basketball in this league is starting to rival the football as far as when you start looking at who you got to play in conference you're like what you just read you're like you're kidding me it's like like where's the breather <laughs> yeah but, it, but joe that's not I mean, it's not just the basketball it's yeah. just the football it's baseball yeah, right. it's softball yeah. it's tennis it just means more women's basketball oh look at the block by condon this young man is impressive. So is that one. Walter Clayton and, uh, and forcing the and issue. And again, you think you got a basket, and this is again what length and shot blocking can do. It covers up a lot of mistakes. Ball watching by Richard was beat, layup. Now you're shooting free throws at the other end. And to follow up on your, I thought, Commissioner Sankey had the greatest line in when he was talking about the football game. He goes, one of these things is not like the other. When he was talking about comparing all the conferences. Yeah. One of these things is not like the other. And it's so true. Well, a week ago, the pictures that you were looking at from the SEC were from a sold-out Mercedes-Benz Stadium. It was packed to the gills and was as an electric atmosphere as you'll find. You fast forward a week and you see the pictures that have come out of Thompson Bowling today. Nearly 20,000, just absolutely packed. Rupp full earlier today. It's a lot of passion. Yeah. Richard. Wow. Ooh. Ooh. That was covered. That was as good as you can cover a three-point shooter without fouls. Trying to get it to Roach. Tough, high entry pass. Look at Will Richard here. Yeah, this is when you just you tip your hand. Because you're, you're there. Hand off the bounce, sideways step. not fair if he can make that shot. I was just saying, I mean, they've shown that they can make, if you leave them open, they're capable of shooters. And if they start, after they're banging you and, and punishing you, they start stepping out and making threes, these bigs of Florida, it's trouble for everybody else. Richard lets it go and knocks it out. Biggest lead of the game for the Florida Gators. They are up 13. And when this guy starts finding it, and gives him another weapon. Again, look out. 13 points for Will Richard. Bigelow. Working on Condon. Tough turnaround, maybe partially blocked. Condon get a piece of that? I Just thought he got an elbow there myself. They've been waiting on him to explode. He's just hit three in a row. So are the Gator fans inside Everett Arena as Florida opens up its biggest lead, 62-46. Will Richard, the junior from Fairburn, Georgia, started out at Belmont. Started to grow into his own last year. Will Rich, good rhythm threes. In transition, he's getting off offensive rebounds, good ball movement. 
Just another guy that can really space his floor for the Florida Gators. That will take us to our under 12 minute timeout. 62-46, Florida leading it over Richmond, 11-36 to play. Jordan King dumps it off, Quinn. I like that little shot, man. It's just like kind of a little, it's kind of like a floater without the jumping. Just kind of takes it a little step and flips it up there. Bullock trying to bring the house down. Really good cut. Yeah. Richmond will back door of their own. Quinn with the three. Neil Quinn. He doesn't take a lot threes, but he's capable. And those are the kind he takes. He's usually wide open. How about the stat line for Quinn? 16 points on 7 of 10 shooting. He's got 5 rebounds and 4 assists. At 7 feet and 260 pounds. A steal there for Richmond. Jordan King accelerates, dumps it off. Bailey lays it in. And a flurry for the Richmond Spiders. They've gotten it back to single digits. Nine point lead for Florida with 10-15 remaining. He just gives them another guy. I mean, he gives them another guy in space to floor. Capable off the dribble, capable playmaker. Samuel working against Quinn. Oh, tipped. Oh, and a foul. So the ball was tipped initially, and Hand Longton was trying to reach up to get it. And I think that's where the foul happened. Yeah, he got grabbed. But again, casual pass by Samuel. Not in a crotch. Ball over your head, your locked knee. Very, very, very fortunate to get the call there. That was Tyler Harris that picked up the foul. And that's the seventh foul on Richmond, so Florida goes into the bonus with 9.58 to play. The good news is they're in the bonus. The bad news is they shoot as a team coming into this game 65%. Micah had long to from... Lake Norman, North Carolina. Started his college career, I told you earlier, at Marshall. Where he was the Sun Belt Freshman of the Year. Seven and a half points, 10 rebounds, two blocks a game. And he did that shooting 66%. He's been a little banged up the last couple of games, but he's back and looks good today. He had a 14 point, 14 rebound double double against Virginia in the second game of the season. Tide saved it in, but it ends up with Florida. Richard accelerates. Count the basket. And one. When it's going your way, it's going your way. And that ball came right to him. Great hustle by the Gators. And then the way this cat's feeling right now, everybody knows where he's going. He was headed downhill. And again, way to initiate the contact and have the strength to finish it for the potential and one. Richard, three of six from three today in the ball game. Back on that yo-yo, Richard. I mean, Richard worked so hard to <laughs> land the flurry. They cut it to nine, and you look up and to a 14-point game. The foul is on Will Richard. Haven't been many marks against him today, but got him off his feet there. A little hesitation dribble at the elbow. Richard kind of raised up and then 
great job by Bailey seeing, hey, getting the tack and then playing off two feet, knowing they're coming in at him, knowing size is coming at him, getting them up in the air. Jai Bailey. Get yourself relaxed a little bit, get your momentum, get your flow going, and good things will follow. That is your good hands play brought to you by Allstate. Riley Kugel, nine points, three rebounds today. Micah Handlock, 10 at the free throw line. He's got seven points and 10 rebounds, so three points away from a double double. Just a second. Too late, man. Cutting. This is what they do. I mean, they just they keep coming off or rubbing up, coming off, and then all of a sudden you slip. Got a chance for a three. The old fashioned. Todd Golden told us this morning after they finished up their shoot around that the fact that they played Loyola, Maryland to start the season and that. Very similar offense, running that Princeton style at Loyola. He thought that helped them in their prep for this game. Yeah, you gotta see it to believe it. Ooh, three from the corner. Big shot there by Mikel Tien. A time, rather. You can try to dummy that offense all you want. Oh, look now, it's a seven-point game, and Richmond's got the ball with seven minutes to play. 
Bad shot by Florida, and then loose with the... And then ball watching in the back. Here we go. Bailey on the cut. He was held by Ed Longton. Three throws here for Bailey. Go back to that last three. Look at the corner. shot yeah. in the corner. Again, if you're just, again, you get so good. Giving up a layup, an easy backdoor layup is... Coaches are on you, you're a little humiliated, and then you start giving a little space to the shooters. And if they start knocking them down, it's trouble. Bailey struggled from the free throw line this year. 10 of 20 coming into today's ball game. That ball just really came funny out of his hand. Kugel from the corner, no. Condon runs down the offensive rebound. Bullet dumps it off, and a foul. Bigelow didn't like it. I tell you what, I mean, I don't know what, what he didn't like about it, because that was a foul. It, it, it's, <laughs> I thought we heard skin on skin here, like there was a slap, but. I mean, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, I was never one to uh, complain <clears throat> to the officials. Oh, really? <laughs> really? Slide off from the stack. <laughs> My man gave me the side. What's up? He also told us earlier that he watched you play in Arkansas too, so. I told him he's probably the only one in there. Couple of free throws there for Kugel. Six and a half to play. Back to an eight point lead for Florida. is the preseason favorite to win the A-10. I think understandably so. Oh, what a tough place. Oh, yeah, Dayton Arena. Really did. Great fan base, big crowds. The place seats like 13,000. But they're on you too. <laughs> but, but Joe Richmond in the preseason A-10 poll is picked 11th. Good luck with that. It feels to me like they're a better basketball team than that. Yeah, I, I'd have to uh, sit down and ten teams better than that. I'm not sure I, I can buy that one. Favorite followed by VCU, St. Bonaventure, Duquesne, St. Joe's, St. Louis, Fordham, Loyola, Chicago. Mm, 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 mm. Freshman. Man. Galtine, a freshman from Toronto. He's got a new career high. the answer by Zion Poland. And now you can shoot the three. That's a good combination in the backcourt. And then on the Florida side of things, a new season high for Will Richard. He's got 21 on 8 of 11 shooting. He's only three off his career high. Quinn gives it off to time. Step back three, short. And Richard gets the rebound. And he's trying to throw it to a teammate who just had his back turned. Tyne takes advantage, grabs the loose ball, and he's fouled by Pullen. Richard did a great job of tracking that rebound down, but when he grabbed it, he was falling out of bounds. Everybody just assumed that he had it, and everybody was assumed that he was just going to turn and take off dribbling. And he was falling out of bounds and had to throw it in time with the heads-up play to track it down. Joe, what do you like about Todd Golden and what he has brought to this Florida program in now just his second season? I think he does a great job of accountability. I mean, I've seen it hasn't mattered who you are. 
you you take a bad shot or you don't do what we saw them go over in the scouting report again you go, you, you lose on to somebody else four gators in double figures i had pullins now got 12. kugel's got 11. Tyrese samuel's got 14. And richard leading the way with 21. If you want to get a player's attention, put him on the bench and let the team do well while he's sitting there watching. Yeah. He'll figure it out. Tyrese Samuel is giving the who me look. That was right up there with Bigelow's who me look. That was some WWE right there. Oh, there, there it is. Come here, come on. I have an arm straight up. <laughs> you got to be kidding me. <laughs> That's my story, and I'm sticking to it. What a game today for Quinn. 16 points, 5 rebounds, 6 assists. He, by far, is the leading assist guy on this team, and I, I would find a big, a post player, a back-to-the-basket guy in the country. I, I, I guarantee you there's not another one leading the team by 20 assists on their team. Yeah, this is the 10th game of the year. Six assists today, so he's up to 40. So he's yeah. averaging four assists per game from the center position. That's an active center. Yeah. They run their offense through the center, as Pat Bradley told me, all offenses should be run through the center. And I agree. <laughs> Got our under four timeout. Tyree Samuel just went up and got it. The fun begins. You got to get the rebound. You got to get this swarm and attack and offensive rebound. I think Florida team, you got to secure the rebound and go down. A lot of time left. Get good shots. Move the ball from side to side. You still can do what you do. You don't have to hurry. Richmond got to try and overcome a 13-point deficit with 3.50 to play. Good defense there. Walling him up, not letting him get the angle, get around him, make him going over the top. Kugel short with the three. And then he commits the foul. Yeah, that, that, that sequence, no good. Yeah, I mean, you, you, got a, you got a 13 point lead. You're right at three minutes, a little more. And you come down, you take a quick three, and then, and then you foul the guy in the backcourt. Not winning. That's not winning basketball right there. Is that simply a maturity issue? Absolutely. You took a bad shot. You know you shouldn't have taken it. Okay? Don't compound it. And again, this is what I like about Coach Golden. He didn't waste any time no, getting him out of the I game. Mean, he's, not, he's not ranting and raving. He didn't kick and scream. He's like, hey, man, you know, figure it out. All the way to the rim. Walter Clayton. Nobody's going to stop yeah. the ball. He'll yeah. take it all the way to the cup. And if Richmond has to get into a full court mode with their defense, that's just not who they are. Okay, good pass, Quinn. He expects to make that shot. He's been making it. He's made two today. That one almost went down, but again, now you want to use some clock. One may have gotten away with a travel. Florida turns it over. Time. 
And the King trying to go reverse, had it blocked, but it goes right to Bigelow, and he lays it up and in. And this is where Florida's got to have growth. These are these are late game situations where you're going to be in tight games where those turnovers and careless shots can cost you. Maybe not today, but you got to learn from this. Get better shots, take care of the ball. Tyrese Samuel, it was like he was just suspended in the air. Bigelow. 14 point game, looks like Florida is moving toward win number six on the year. I think there's a lot that Todd Golden is going to like from this game today. He, he should. This is a difficult scout. This is a difficult team to play against. Playing, a, It's a home game, but it's not on your floor. It's a neutral floor. Nice job. Good all-around win. Got some great production from some guys. Richard and Logdown played really well. Tyree Samuel showed that he's going to be a, a force. I don't I don't know if it makes sense or not, but this felt like kind of an effortless 85 points from Florida. Man, that's a great point, Richard. They, I mean, they, they only shot 32% yeah. from three. They were 9 of 28. Yeah, I mean, they weren't as efficient as they'd like to be, and they're knocking on 90. Bigelow fouled on the drive. 13 offensive rebounds for Florida. And they are plus 20 on the boards. If that number holds, it will be the fifth time this year that they've gone plus 20 against an opponent in nine games. I mean, I, I cannot think of ever hearing that. I mean, I mean, that's not a good rebounding team. That's Great rebound. A noise come, comes back in as Jordan King finishes off a good day. I, I know I kind of alluded to it a second ago when we were talking about the 8-10 and why Richmond's picked 11th in that league. And you know, there's it's harder than it's ever been to project things when you got guys coming in and out every year. I like this Richmond team. Yeah, I'm, this is like the third time I've watched him, and, and again, 11th. I, 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 I and, like, and by the way, they're without their point guard in yeah. Delani Hunt right yeah. now. He's got a broken wrist, and that happened early in their game against Colorado. Expected to be after the first of the year when he comes back. Here's Condon. Bailey kicks it to the corner. for Tyne, and he got it. Fifth made three of the game for Mikel Tyne. Florida's going to dribble out the clock, and the Gators are going to walk out of the AutoNation Orange Bowl Basketball Classic with an 11-point win.